five. In this video, we are going to learn three things that are filter, pagination, and sorting. So whenever we hit this endpoint, we have we get all the tasks, but uh, we want just one task. Like uh, we want the tasks that are completed or not completed. So for going for getting this type of functionality, we have to use the filter functionality. So in here we just going to modify here and uh, let's say the part the part will be the task because in this task in this where we are going to modify the values and the match this field is where we have to like what we have to match it with so it's completed let's say it will be a true value and now if we save it and run it here we will get only the true values and if we just use the false we can get only the false values now this is not dynamically so we have to write some code in here so in here let's create a const match and we are just going to use a query because in here the filter will be request or query dot is completed if this is the object is there then we are going to simply write match dot is completed is equal to request dot query dot is completed is equal to it will be true this is because this value will be a string so whenever we use the use compare it with the true value we can get the value with that will be assigned to the match dot is completed now if it's a if it will be assigned here if it is a false value it will be assigned and it will compare with the true string and then it will be assigned to the match dot is completed now just we have to remove this and we are going to save it here and now if we run it again but first we have to like give it what we have to know let's say request of is completed is equal to true now if we run it again we will see that we can get the true values and if we use false here we can get the false value now there is one thing is called pagination so in pagination there are two things that is a limit and a skip in limit this is what we call like what amount of data that we want like what amount of data that we are going to limit to and a skip is the value that is what are the next next value next after the next skip value that the lim values that we want that means if it is a 10 value it means that we need the set of another 10 values after the first 10 values so for getting this we just have to use a uh, options field and it's an object in here we just have to give limit a uh, integer value and skip an integer value so if we are going to use dynamically but it is a it it will be a parsing because the value that we get from postman it will be a string so just we have to convert it into a uh, into a integer we are just going to use request dot query dot limit any in here the parse int we are just going to use parse int request dot query dot skip now if we save it and in here first we are going to see all task here all the tasks are here false true true now if we want to get only this this task we are just going to limit it to a 1 
we get only one class and if we skip it's equal to one that means we are going to skip this class and go to the next second class then we get this second class and if we are going to use two we will get the third class so this is how limit and skip works now next is sorting so in here sorting is done by the next another in options field there is something called sort field in here this is a uh, this requires uh, an object so in what way we are going to sort it so if we again like run it here so in what way we are going to sort it let's say if we are going to sort it according to the created at so if we use created at here so we have to send it like created at is equal is minus because this is a it requires an integer value and it only takes minus one and one minus one is for descending and one is for ascending so if we say minus one and now here we're just going to save it here and now if we look into in the created at and if we run it here minus one the task is upside down means the task that is in the bottom it goes up that means this task is at a descending rate that means this task has come at the last this task has been created at the last so it is in a descending order so it will come first now if we save it as a one and save it and run it we can get the first task that is created first will be in here now if we sort it according to the is completed so is completed yeah no now if we want to like uh, convert into a way that is that will be a way that uh, will get dynamically so for doing this like is completed for doing this we just have to like create a new const match is equal to then empty object right now now in here we are just going to use like sort by now created at created at descending we can write any way like uh, if you want to like use another symbol any symbol that you want i am going to use column symbol here so if you want to use like this like created at a descending way or ascending way if this type of things we want so we have to like use here if request dot query dot sort by is there so we are just going to use to like sort so what will we get we will get this value here created at this ascending or descending we have to split this string so for splitting it we are just going to use const string is equal to request dot query dot sort by and we are going to split using the split method and we are going to split according to this column so for doing this we just have to use column here so we can we will get two strings here in an array now we are just going to sort and we are going because it is assigned to a variable we are going to use sort str 
is equal to so if str one is equal to dsc we are going to use ternary operator here if it is this then we are going to assign to minus one and if it is not we are going to assign with one yeah that's it now if we just remove it and use dot here and save it here and if we run it again we will get false true true value in ascending way and if we use true here we will get we will get the value as a descending so yeah that's it so this is how the three things filter pagination and sorting works in mongoose and node.js thank you